I'm Melissa Case from Hat to Hem, and today I'm going to show you the quick and easy way to replace a zipper back with a lace up back. For this tutorial, I'm using the Laces Corset Kit. First off, they're not sponsoring this video or anything. I've just used their kits a couple of times. I found them very easy to work with, and I thought they may be able to help you if you need to do a similar project. They come in a range of lengths and colors and Hopefully you'll be able to find one that works for you. If you're interested, I'll be sure to post the Amazon link in my description. To get started, you'll need the dress you're altering, the kit, which includes the boning with the corset loops, the modesty panel and the lacing, thread in the color of your choice, scissors, and a seam ripper. You'll also need either pins or these little clippy things. Which one you use is up to you. To start off, I completely removed the zipper using my seam ripper. This is a bit of a tedious process, so I'm just gonna speed things up a little. Okay, there we go. Next, you need the loop boning. That's not the official term, but it's what I'm going with. And you want to pin or clip it to the back opening of the dress. You wanna leave a small space between the top of the dress and the top of the boning, and the loop should be facing away from the back opening. Typically, you would want to pin these at a bit of an angle to emphasize the lacing, but the top of this dress doesn't really allow for that, so I'm just gonna do it right along the edge. If you have a little extra at the bottom like I did, just snip it away with your scissors and try to cut that loop as close to the edge as you can. Now for the other side. Now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we're gonna stitch the boning down using a simple straight stitch. You want the first row of stitches to be in the middle of the bone. The second row of stitches is going to be as close to the edge with the loops as possible. You can probably use a zipper foot for this, but I was too lazy to switch over, so I just used my normal pressure foot instead. Next, you can flip the bone to the inside and top stitch close to the edge. This is optional, but I like having the extra security because it just makes me feel better, so I always do it. At this point, you can also give this a quick press. I did, but it was off camera. I would keep it at a low heat though because these bones are plastic and you really don't want to have to worry about them warping or anything like that. Next, I pop the dress onto the dress form so I can get an idea of where the modesty panel should be. If you don't have a dress form, you can do this directly on yourself with help or you can do it directly on your client. This is another point where I had to deviate a little bit from what I would normally do. I would typically whip stitch the edge of the modesty panel to the dress. However, this dress has no lining, so if I did that, the stitches would show through, which is not ideal. Instead, I decided my best option was to attach the modesty panel by doing a straight stitch right on top of my top stitching from earlier. Is it the ideal way of doing this? No. Does it work? Well enough. Now it's time to lace up. You want to make sure the length of your laces are even just to make the lacing process be a little easier. Once I got to the end, I snipped off the excess laces, and there we are. You can leave the bow out, or you can tuck it into the dress at the bottom of the opening. It's completely up to your preference. And that's it. If this video was at all helpful for you, please feel free to either like it or leave me a comment telling me that it was helpful. If you're interested in any other tutorials, please let me know. Uh, in the meantime, I will see you in two weeks with a new video. Bye!